And the winner of the 2017 Financial Inclusion Challenge is Obima. Obima has found ways to uh, provide insurance to the most vulnerable people in the world or live one event away from destitution. And if they have insurance, it can really make a huge difference in their lives. So what is your primary business model? Primarily what we do is that we provide insurance to people in emerging markets and we use mobile technology to do that. Psychometrics, you're essentially creating data, but at the same time in the last couple of years there's been an explosion of alternative data sources, phone usage, social media, um, which arguably can be accessed faster and cheaper than a 20-25 minute test. Tell me how you're dealing with that kind of competition. You can build on top of that additional data. And we actually play nice with others, so we incorporate any sort of alternative data. EFL, this is their entire approach on psychometric testing. How does your approach compare to, say, an EFL? They are the experts, but we have a very local, custom, specific, targeted test. Financial inclusion is a very, very exciting space. Taking advantage of the digital revolution, we're seeing incredible innovation all around the world, but particularly here in Asia. And I think this contest is really bringing to the fore some great innovators, harnessing data, data analytics, psychometrics. We can really make a difference harnessing new technology.